How's it going, man? My name is Fossey, and this is Bear With Me. Yeah, in the last episode, uh, we managed to get to this bathroom here with our uh, flashlight, and we picked up the duster. So, what for? I have no idea. Um, let's check this. Can we go to the stairs, maybe? Such an amazing piece of woodwork. The amazing stairs, everybody. Gather round, young and old. Witness this new technological marvel. Uh, okay. That's just... It's just weird. Yep, it's weird. What What does it even resemble? I mean... Whatever. Okay, Amber's room. Is there something maybe in Amber's room that we can pick up? Let me have a quick look here. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with the duster. Bed. Last night's supper. Cannot do anything with it. The chest, I can't open it. Alright, I don't think so. I think so. Maybe it has something to do with fingerprints because we are we are a team of investigators or whatever. But I don't know, then we need powder and Okay, this guy is is done. Um let's go to the study. Can we dust the uh, the spiders away? Maybe. No. Are you fucking joking? Oh no, it works. Okay. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure, you would. Dude, we could have totally done this with our hands, man. All right. Nevertheless. The case was spinning out of control so fast I had to hold on my hat. Nothing made sense and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill where Rust worked for years got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hell of the city. This bond I have with her will be the only thread I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. Dude, I totally like the narrative. Um, they did with this game here. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. Uh, okay, who is this man? The Muckshot Brothers, okay. But first, uh, they have a sixth sword. Take it. I'll just sell this sword and buy some revives for later. Right? I should tear them in case I need to make a rope to climb down the window. Okay, anything else? Books? A book titled Half-Life 3. Oh, I bet it's fantasy. Dude, no, Half-Life 3 is coming, man. There was some some leaked information shit. Whatever. It's coming. It's coming in the far, 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 far future. <laughs> Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. Hey. Anything else? Random papers? Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? 
Hard shell on the outside, sweet on the inside. Metaphors never end with you guys, huh? Origami books? I have no clue what that is. A wild guess. It's a single copper dime with a printing error. Unique. Extremely rare. Not as valuable as one might think. Okay, anyhow, uh, let's talk to those guys here. Lowlifes. I guess they are so used to police interrogations. Standing in front of bright lights is where they feel most at home. <laughs> just, I just see it right now. There's the lamp here. <laughs> it still looks good, yeah. Alright. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop! We didn't do it! And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it? It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> This is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. See? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. Alright, where's Van Ashworth? Um, I heard about the Red Man. Why are you here? Why are you here? So... Why are you here, exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus! How about you take a long walk down the short pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Okay, uh, don't know if they have anything uh, useful here to say. Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? I have his two tickets. Cutting a barbershop quartet. No, I'm just asking because I started a barbershop quartet and I need a strong baritone, but also someone that can take the lead if necessary. For these types of situations, you need someone that has a wider range. Shut up, John John, he's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid, I'm sure he's fine. Sure, cause kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. Hey, Red Man. You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Come on. You better cooperate. I could go easy near the Reef King. Care for a bribe. Well, if you cooperate, maybe I can forget about that nasty carrot smuggling operation you two are running on the west side of town. C carrot smuggling? I don't know anything about no carrot smuggling, see? It's all for private use. My brother here is a big individual, and he needs his vitamins and such, see? Ain't that right, John John? Smuggling is such a strong word. That's right, John John. <laughs> okay. Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing, or hiking, yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure, 
and your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. I like, I like his voice, man. It's, it's, it's a bit uh, reminiscing to the uh, to Microsoft Sam. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. What do you know about him? Not much. And the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. Wants to see it all burn, see? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope, for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one. Yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing. There you go. Now, don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now. See? Sure. Alright, I have uh, the key now, or what? Aaron's room key, okay. Um, cabinets? It's got drawers. I guess the logical thing to do here would be to search the drawers for clues. Yeah? But I'm not going to do that. I have my reasons. Okay, whatever. Keep... Oh, there's a... goth thingy. We'll have to find another way. Why doesn't he take it? It's, it's too high. Well, this thing really stands out. Okay, um... I don't like pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. Rope. The weakest link in this whole construction. Maybe I could exploit that. Ah, I see, I see. Army knife. And uh, cut it. Okay. I'll take it with me. Maybe Millie can tell me something more about it. Yeah, so far the um, the puzzles are a bit too easy, I think. They're really easy. Box. It's a cardboard box. I bet there are all kinds of useful things inside. Or not. Okay, can we go back to the study? I want to go to the parents' room. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. Alright, I like this, uh, those two guys. Seem like a pretty good pair. Okay, up to the parents' room. I hope they are not at home and doing some ungodly things. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Okay. Let you go, me lady. Uh, very Spartanic. Uh, dark, dark room. Okay. And? I feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. Some weird plant is sticking out of it. Creepy dude. A painting of some guy. Let's name him. Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't, but he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room, if he had any. Lipstick. 
Fun. If you draw with it on your mom's evening dress, she'll get like really, really mad. Like volcanic eruption mad. <laughs> okay, heavy dusty curtain. This thing is so dusty. It's like a it looks like the thing, um, to uh whatever. My parents' bed. It's so big and comfy. My bed is like sleeping on a pile of rocks. Well, not really. It's really soft and fluffy, but this one's better. Okay. So, can we take something here? Camera? Yes. See that? I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. Film? All right. Um, anything else? Plastic wrap? Armoire? An armoire. That's fancy talk for closet. Okay, don't think there's anything... It's plastic wrap for your clothes, for some reason. I wonder... Look at this. Wait, why is there... This thing is uh, rotating right now. Why? Because... There's something new, or why? You see, sometimes... Now this thing stays here. Is this an indicator for um, that I have to do something here? Uh huh. Dark room. Can develop the film, I guess. All right, safe. Yeah, this is fucking no go right now. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. sorry. Eh? How can I go get out? I, w I wanna get out. Uh, trash. Going through trash is not on my to-do list. Maybe if my schedule opens up later in the day. Uh, do we have anything else? If I had a sharp piece of bamboo and some sugar water, I could lure fireflies inside and use them as a makeshift lamp. Ingenious! You know your house has electricity. Containers, canister, photo developing stuff. Just a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. Film enlarger. What can I do with this? Okay. Can I put my film Nothing in? Nothing happened. There's something missing. Yeah. Negatives. What's. Nothing happened. Mm. There's something missing. There's something missing. Okay. Let's see. Latent latent image. It's an empty image filled with um some silver dust. You put it in the machine over there, and then some other stuff. Then you get photos of my school recital. This latent image. Can I use this here? Now. There. Is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now, and then we get the photo. Uh, big ass... <laughs> big ass bottle. <laughs> um, okay, so, 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 wash bowl. My mom uses the same one to wash Ted in. What? That's not true. I have a shower in my office. Oh, you do, do you? Duct tape. Cool. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. Uh, uh, containers. What else? Measuring cylinder. Lights. Pipe. So what can I do now with this uh, latent image? I put it in the containers. I can't use that. Hmm. Uh, what? Wash bowl. Come on. I don't know what to do. What to do with this thing, man? Pincers. Used to pinch things. Nothing interesting about this. I know that you use um, that you use your your image with uh, some kind of a developer, and then you wash it off, then you hang it out. But I need this developer, the chemical. 
and I have no idea where where to look. I mean, I cannot interact with those things here. So developing stuff. I mean, this is a bit. This is a bit uh, strange, right? So, how can I? I do this. I here? can't use that. Okay, let me tinker. Let me tinker a bit around here, and we'll see each other in a moment. Are you even? I can't use. I can't use. Come on. <laughs> it has measuring units on the side. Used to develop photos of you going to visit your boring old relatives. Used to develop. Come on. Guess this room is just some canisters filled with some. My mom. What? The oh, you big ass bottles. Step right. It's where the water comes from. I don't think. Hmm. Do what with it? Come on. Okay, that was a bit late. Extremely brave for storing preserve. I can't use. Used to do what with it? Uh. Seems like it's empty. You can pour something in it, like. Come on. Come on. Do what with? Come on. Come on. I don't think so. Oh god, okay. Uh No idea. No idea. It has measuring you. I can't use that. I'm not allowed to. Alright, I have no idea what to do. Uh, maybe this will work here. The sword with the key? Are you even trying?
Wait a minute, I just remember the, the, the statue, right? Uh, from the other the other episode, uh, 107. Poor 107, dude. 107. There we go. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Hey, these are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. Finally, man. All right. Now I can use this uh, with the containers, right? There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. Okay. Ha! Rat man. It's a ghost. Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find Mom and Dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. We found a piece of his robe earlier and now this photo. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Oh, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie and see if she can tell us something about the fabric. Yeah, you're right. Uh. You have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so we wait. Uh, okay. So, have you been lately? <laughs> Small talk, man. Um, can we get out? Yikes. Uh, and Rusty is not... Shit, wait. What, I'm playing him? Playing as a red man. All right, I'm playing now as a red man. I think I will call the day here, guys. Um, so very, very cool, interesting stuff, man. This looks really awesome. Um, looks like uh, some kind of a ghost or whatever. Anyway, in the next episode, I think we will uh, try to make sense of all of it. I mean, if we are playing those two guys here and the red man. Surely this uh, red man cannot be evil, right? Because then we would play good and evil together? I don't know, man. Um, anyway, that's all for now. We see each other in the next episode. Take care.